Hello everybody, uh, just a quick video. Uh, recent success at the National Koi Show. Shout out to all the guys who helped out there. It was a great event, one of the best in crowds and numbers, all positive. Uh, lots of awards, lots of things going on. I'll overlo overlo overlay even some of the things that uh, we got, which includes the Judges Award, uh, Jumbo Champion uh, for Koi that's in there for She's 96 centimeters, and a few other seconds and thirds and things like that. So just a short video also to highlight that this coming Sunday, which is um, today's Friday, this Sunday is, let me check the date, 21st Friday, tw this Sunday the 23rd in Maidenhead at Aquatics, Wenvo, Cardiff. I'll be there filming as well. So this is a short video. Hopefully I could get it done tonight, send it out there. Uh, got a few jobs to do on the pond. Fish is looking fantastic. Um, I haven't uploaded a video for a while because I'm on, actually on vacation and work uh, from work, and I don't have access to all the editing software. I didn't bring all my stuff with me at home. I rather leave all in my office in the building. So um, I'm just going to do this uh, with all the all the edits that I normally do. Um, so yeah, let's move on. I haven't used this camera in a while, so I'm trying to figure. Out. Oh, here you go. So that's the koi that uh, took Jumbo Champion 96 centimeter. This game third overall. Um, another fish that also got an award. That little shower there, uh, Sakai, and a few. Oh yeah, that one there that got the judges award. So yeah, just a few things to do. I got a few jobs around the pond to do before heading out to Wales. Tomorrow I'm going to change this. I have one in the pump house already. This is the monster one. So when this goes in, generally I don't need to change it till sort of November, December. But I'll have a look, see where it's at. Um, yeah, so fish are all good. Air by is on. Summertime, 23 Celsius. Um, yeah, this is the time I begin to pile the food in. I think right now I'm feeding. Uh, eight times a day and if you have one of these JBL I think it's called JBL Pro Filter it's up there if you got one of those anyhow I'm feeding nine times a day set at volume three which is the amount so that's times three I'll inch that up to four more so in the afternoons but they're doing good got some lovely kajakus from Omasaku in here as well that I'm growing on and uh, some of these would be for sale all come certificate and uh, yeah I imported them early in the year why is it blurry? oh here you go I imported them early in the year and uh, they will be up for sale so if you're interested in these they're roughly probably I'd imagine 38 to 40 cm some's already sold um, they come with certificate I'm not sure about sex at this point because they were bought a lot smaller than that anyhow I'm not here to sell fish, I can happily keep them. So let's go into the pump house and change this carbon. Before I go to the pump house, the feeder just uh, clicked in again. So uh, I can see the fish, she's now, well, a few months ago she was 89 centimeters. I would reckon she's up, the, up to 90 now. A few of them are there, this is 96 centimeter. Okawa won the Jumpio, Jumbo Champion, can't seem to speak today. Uh, award and a few other fish. I didn't really take a lot of fish to the show. I think I only took five in uh, two vats. Some of you saw them, but yeah, it was a great time. The national. I don't really film at the national. I don't really like walking around with camera and things like that at the national. I used to, but now I don't bother. I just use it the time to chat to people and enjoy koi. So, yeah, feed has gone off. Fish are feeding. They're doing good. So I'm in my filter room. And that's the one that's coming out, which is a big blue skinny, I call it. And the one I'm going to replace it with is uh, holds a lot more carbon than that one. So that's coming out, and a new one is going in now. Uh, also, as most of you who follow these videos from day one, uh, looking at where my height is, uh, yeah, from day one. Uh, you notice I had the red label, well I have the red label, the very first generation, 
and uh, if you watch videos you'll notice I was over in Holland myself and Ian and uh, we filmed with Guido San uh, in Holland at the Red Label factory now what I've done is uh, because this is first generation I've ordered a brand new drum and that's gonna get fitted a new red label this one's coming out a new ones fitting uh, Guido himself is hoping to be here most of you met him at the national show he's a rock star he's hoping to be here he's gonna fit it in we're also gonna have Simon on the day who uh, works on ponds especially when you're on holiday uh, I'll get Simon and the camera next time and uh, he can tell you what he does great guy I've known him he's a giant of a guy in many ways uh, Simon's going to be here and possibly Finch filtration will come because he might have to do some adjustment on the arrow so that's promised to be a great video but until then I'm going to shut this camera off and uh, manhandle that carbon out of there I've already changed and have the new one ready that's the beauty of having two you have one in and the other one you change it when you feel up to it there's no pressure to do it all in one go so I'm just going to swap over and I'll come back to you okay swap over in place so this is the spent one uh, that has been in since January this year and uh, once I started getting a reading on the palin test of 0 0.02 in my mind is ready to change so I, I don't want to read in higher than that um, new ones coming in new adapter put in so literally all I do is pop this adapter out from here and then move this one over to place this here is um, another two that uh, they are inserted with two cartridges I believe that's in there and I put um, activated carbon which helps with chloramine although I don't really get chloramine here yeah, I've tested and I don't get any ammonia anything like that so um, but yeah that's there I'm gonna refresh those as well and then I'll mark it in my calendar so I know when is the last time I change them but also more than mark in the calendar is the test the more regular you run tests because calendar dates uh, in my experience doesn't always work sometimes after two months you have to change them because seven trent has put a load of chlorine through like they said to me they provide water to drink not for fish so we can't beat them i guess in that so this one's going to come out the boys they're going to clean that out for me that's why i have children they can do that i'm going to pop this one in and yeah come back to you so okay so this is the one that's uh, finished with and I think that holds 15 kgs I think or just below of uh, activated carbon. I use the bone char version, um, not just a typical one, I use the um, bone char version of the activated carbon. A little bit more expensive but in my experience it lasts longer. Uh, Typically, like I said, in the smaller ones, I use catalytic carbon. But the thing about catalytic carbon, um, in my experience, it don't last as long as the bone char. So that's why I only use a little bit and I could change it there. So just want to show you what I do when I change it over. Everybody's a bit different. Um, and as Guido San says, I'm different. Uh, I run this for about an hour or so. Um, just to flush it out. I don't run it through the system yet, um, just to flush out anything. Also, if you just run that in, it's got a lot of soot and dirt in it. The water comes out charcoal color, then it clears up for a bit. But also, if you take a pH reading on that water, the pH is quite high. Uh, so you need to let it run for a little bit, so it settles down, and then I put it through my RO system as well. So that's going to sit there and run for an hour or so uh, less water than that out of my bill it will be crazy but yeah so that would run for a little bit to flush anything out okay so these are out as you can see these are the 10 bb i believe all from uh, andy finch and these are the containers that you put the carbon in so i'll go over get some uh carbon catalytic carbon 
from the garage and I'd refresh these and uh, meanwhile that is still uh, the what new one uh, can't speak now the new tank is flushing through and then uh, we'll put this together and then have it all running by the time I finish this have a cup of coffee uh, leave it running for an hour and a bit then I could flush it through uh, properly and get it running because this would have to be flushed through as well so it's a whole system you got to go through uh, but that's all part of keeping koi so these have been opened up uh, I'm gonna get rid of these and I'm gonna refresh them with some new give them a good clean out and as you can see that's where they're going there's some filters and and the beauty about these is you can top them up as and when you need to. And like I said, if you hook up with uh, Andy Finch, he would get you some of these. Tell him that I said you have to get it with a discount price. <laughs> okay, so I've just washed these out. When you put them back together, there's instructions, this end up, this is with an arrow. Insert these, get them in place and yeah put them together I've replaced one of these with a brand new one so this is a new one I've got a spare one so I've just put one of these on yeah all looking good fish are finishing up the last bit of food ready for a coffee I can hear the carbon emptying there the water flushing through so that will stay flushing for probably another hour or so I'll leave it for now it's come up to over an hour, so just keep it flushing through. Right, hopefully you can hear me over the showers. Uh, flushing that system out there, you can probably see jet of water. You may never really see it, but that's been flushed. Uh, that's been the big blue has been running for hour 45. Tested all good, and now I'm flushing this last bit. Then we'll hook it up, and now we should be good to go for a while tested my chlorine out of the tap and then at uh, 0 0.32 parts per million of chlorine which is not bad considering all right let's continue working okay so everything is back and running that's the wastewater from the RO system and most of you who know uh, look back on the channel if you don't know look back on the channel I'm not going to overlay stuff. I'm a lazy filmer this week, so this is the arrow system running. That's it. Recycle arrow, two membranes. Uh, yeah. So that's the waste. Let me show you what we're replacing it with. And uh, this is the amount of water going back in. And this runs for every three hours. So eight hours a day, and that's what we're replacing with. Actually, it's a little bit too much for me to um, fine-tune it down a bit. And I'll have to check this as it settles. But normally, I just want about 20 milliliters or so. Um, about there. That's fine. So that's replenished water, which only comes in when the arrow is running. When the arrow is off, that is zero. And uh, that's all that's going in, which is literally just a very very minute trickle as you can see just to deal with the washing but my pH is on below one degree I think it's about eight milligrams I the most I'd run my pH is one and uh, <clears throat> it's been working well for me that's my way the experts will tell you do something else but hey I just do what my uh, teacher Mike Snaden uh, so there you go, so that's settled nice, that's about right there, so hopefully on the overflow that would set them really well. And as I said that this drum is coming out, when Guido comes there's a new, whole new uh, system going in, uh, it's called a Rasta Pro, yes Guido, red label Rasta Pro. And uh, by the way, I'm buying this. Don't get any ideas. I know what, well, especially the British uh, koi keepers are like. They like to stir up controversy on the man. But yeah, 
I like I wanted some things put in so I've done it and this one has been ripped out uh, or oh, gently replaced for a brand new one and a new control box uh, don't be messing to me about it because somebody's already having it okay uh, so that is done for now so there's a new uh, new activated carbon has gone in bone char carbon new catalytic carbon at the bottom light is quickly fading like a test match um, waste is about there which is fine um, if anybody know good prices um, on 4040 membranes coming out I don't want the Chinese ones I don't seem to last as long I use uh, Andy Finch to get all my stuff and he cleans them for me but maybe there's some guys who are in the window cleaning trade and you may have a better idea put that put a message in the um, comment in the section below all right so uh, it's getting really dark because it's gonna rain and sweating you can see and uh, yeah this is my hat that I got at the national for Shin Kokai award thanks to the guys who did that as well so I think that's all from me let's turn back and look at the fish I haven't used this camera for a while so having a play with it is actually a very nice camera just using different cameras keeping things fresh so their finished feed I think their next feed is at 9.15 and then that's it for today fish are good there's no parasites one or two little bumps which happens with koi you know uh, you can't wrap them up in bubble wrap they are animals so they will knock themselves and do stupid things but so far things have been good that's my favorite kajako to the bunch I shouldn't point it out because chances are something might go wrong with it but they're, they're kajakus omosaku kajako to speak for themselves doing really really well um, most of you who watch this would know about the Yumikoi mud pond challenge if you watch the videos you'd have seen me harvesting uh, along with Stephen and Anthony Gray last year well tomorrow is the draw I've entered in I don't think you could enter in anymore but the fish are in the mud pond and uh, you would be able to see that harvest when we go out in November I'll film it and hopefully I can edit it have it ready for Christmas maybe if I just keep the edit simple when you do fancy edit it takes a lot of work and time but generally even editing takes a lot of time also let me come back on me also ah, sit down so some of you yeah so some of you have been asking about my quarantine tank uh, here it is um, 600 500 gallons easy pun from West Midlands Koi Lee Essex and Allen uh, shout out to them they're great boys uh, of West Midlands Core. If you have some chance, visit their website. Look back on the channel. I've also done a video with them there as well. So that came from them and Red Label. Uh, happy 2025. Uh, this came uh, from Guido. Uh, I bought this, uh, I can't remember when. Anyhow. But you can also get Red Label from um, West Midlands Core as well. So if you're interested in a Combi 2025, absolutely lovely machine then give Lee or Alan Foley a message on West Midlands Koi and they'll come and deliver one to you and Alan will give you a Welsh cake he's a nice boy like that he's a good boy so tell them you want every purchase of a combi 2025 come with a packet of Welsh cakes personally delivered by Alan himself so if you want to get one of those uh, just check out those boys and um, hey I need to update my calendar I haven't been on the ball. I need to turn that over. Maybe I'll turn that over and continue filming so you can see. At the moment, uh, I've had this little bit chilled uh, because I don't really have any fish. I don't like fish growing in the dark and I don't like paying high electric bills. These pumps, MDM pumps, are fantastic. If you go over to Darren at Absolute Koi, I tell you what, these things are the beast. Uh, lovely piece of equipment, comes with his own control box there where you can um, adjust uh, RPMs on it uses hardly any watts it's a DC pump as well um, 
uh, MDM pumps, check out Absolute Koi for that. And um, fantastic, fantastic bit of kit. I absolutely love it. I think if I ever was to step away from Flow Friend, I love Flow Friend. Uh, to me, nothing could be the Flow Friend, except this is a close, close runner up. So if I had to step away from Flow Friend, MDM pumps would be there. I just need that to be three inch in, three inch out. And if they have one like that, I'm not sure. Then we're in the money and the tank is there running well. Keep a little bit of secrets of what's in there. Might be nothing, might be something. Um, there's the awards from the old Japan Koi Show. Not the little rascal man, but that thing there. And a few awards. Microscope and uh, pump as well. From That pump is actually from SKS. And like I said, I'll be over at SKS as well. So if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. So, it's a Corimo, and some of you may know this, some of the older boys, uh, Takigawa-san was the master at one point with these uh, Corimo. I believe Matsue is now breeding them, I believe. I'll find out when I'm there as well. But yeah, this is my um, QT system. Um, and so i got to get rid of this. If you want this, let me know in the description and I will send it to you. Or you could come pick it up at West Middles, but I don't think you'd want one of these. But I'd gladly give it to you. Anyhow, peace out. Hey, light is going. Okay, so this is like... I've already been through two bags of food. Um, I normally use six or eight bags of food. So that's growth. I want to grow sinking, but I can't see them. If you've got growth sinking, 20kg, can you let me know? Or if you know who has... Saki Ikari, that's all I use, growth sinking. Please let me know in the descriptions, in the comments below. That's uh, catalytic carbon. Um, so Andy Finch is the one I bought that from. And I've got some more food. This is also some food. I've got some oh, balance. I didn't know I had that one. And then some more medium growth as well. What's that? 5 kg. Ah, uh, yeah, that would last me 5 days. So, so 5 days, we'll go through that. Anyhow, that's the food.